Quick question. Does anybody in here know what happens if you haven't had a proper night's sleep in like half a week and then you go into a gym? Uh, because that's what we're about to do today. I haven't had a lot of sleep lately. And we're going to go into the first gym of this region. So this can only go well today. Let's go over the team real quick because I did do a little bit of grinding. Uh, I looked up the levels for at least what normally Sword and Shield are. As far as the first gym goes, it's going up to level 20. And we have a flying type and a fire type, though that fire type is, is kind of problematic. We'll get to that in a minute. We have a Bath the Corvus Choir with Pluck, Fury Attack, Scratch, and Claws Defense. We have Derek the Corkle. It's called a uh, Caracol. Caracol, that's what it's called. With Ancient Power Inferno, which is the only fire type move it has, but it's only got 50% accuracy. So, really, it doesn't have a fire type move? Realistically speaking. Uh, rock Polish because I'm an idiot and a Rock Tomb. We have Jerome the Eevee, which uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this evolution wise. With Covert Quick Attack, it doesn't have Covid. It doesn't have the Coronavirus. If you're wondering, I mean, if it gets Poker Rust, that, that's fine. Uh, that, that's a virus you can catch. I'd rather not a die. Uh, bite and a Round Eyes. It, we've got Dab the Wooloo with Hadbot Double Kick. Defense, Curl, and Copycat, and then we've got Mr. Nibbles, the... This? Squovit? I think it's Squovit. With a spit up Stockpile, Swallow, and Bite. I'm going to try to make this Stockpile build work. I've never tried this before. But I feel like this could work, because we can just Stockpile, 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 and if things go badly, we can Swallow. But if things go well, we can Spit up. Right? That's how that works. So... Theoretically speaking, this should be going very, very well. We're probably not going to be using Mr. Nibbles in this specific gym, though. So, let's get to it! The first gym. I don't know how this goes. Do I just, like, walk in here? It seems like I just walk in there. It's a big stone, but a Pokemon can push it. So, would you like to put, um, sure, Corvus Choir. So, that's just strength without needing the strength HM? I, I am highly in favor of this. So, what do I need to use the baller for again? I am not entirely sure. Uh, isn't this usually... You have a Trico. Isn't this usually a, a puzzle to do with Wooloo? Oh, the boulder is supposed to be your Wooloo. That makes a lot of sense now. The Trico doesn't stand any chance against me. Uh, most of this gym is probably going to be me using Pluck, because that's really the only thing I have right now. Uh, so yeah, we just go that way, and then do we keep this boulder with us is the question. I'm going to just go through a couple of trainer fights here. Um, uh, maybe I'm not. Okay, I kind of fucked that one over, didn't I? Uh, oh, I really fucked that up. Um, do I reset the entire map? No, I don't. It hold on, hold on, don't they just despawn the moment they go off screen. Okay. Don't fuck up again. Don't push them up against the wall. Because if that happens, you, you're just you're just stuck. You can't do anything about it. And let me guess, you also have a Trico. Oh, you have an Oddish. What a danger the Oddish is to me. It's dead. That's how dangerous it is. It's dead. Also, I talked in the last recording, which is two episodes ago by now. Uh, I think Monday's video, that means. About doing shorts. And I, I, I cut out a couple of shorts from the last two videos. And I, they've started uploading. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. Because one of them is getting close to 600 views at this point, And the other one is closing in on 200. And the vast majority of them are stuck at like... 10. At most. But then those two that offset the average, I, I am happy with those. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to keep doing that because I, I like high numbers. I'm not going to lie. So, hopefully that also motivates me to be more entertaining uh, in, in a general sense. Because what I do a lot of the time is doing these very long uh, rants about very random topics. That doesn't really work well in a format that goes up to 60 seconds. So I, I need more like moment to moment short. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared about this. Okay, let's do this. 
My gym is the first one that Matty challenged to find them. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do this. So, do I get the Dynamax? Is the question. I like this background, though. Okay, you start with your uh, gussy of the thing. This should not be a big problem, in theory. But I'm still going to go in here because, in theory, I should be able to use the Wishing Star now, right? Where, where is it? Wishing Star. I can't use it. Huh. Okay, I guess we don't Dynamax then. <laughs> it's okay. I expected that to go that easily. Not quite that easily. Um, this is going to be very anticlimactic. This is going to be very anticlimactic, isn't it? Things leveling up, that's all fine. And Oh, and then you have a Dynamax Pokemon, because you can Dynamax, but I can't. I see how things are. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Uh, actually, I, I'm kind of in a bit of trouble here. One thing that I should point out is uh, there, there were trees to the south of, of the town uh, that, that give berries, and it seems like they give infinite berries, so I have infinite berries right now. Which means I can just go in here, Citrus Berry, use that, and Bath is healed up. Didn't even need to use a potion for that. Um, and I can just, in this way, unless you get a critical hit, stall out your Dynamax, in theory. Uh, hopefully your Dynamax actually runs out, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be upset. Wait, your Dynamax doesn't run out. That's not great. Oh, that's definitely not great. Uh, Bab, you can take a hit, right? You definitely can't take a hit, okay. Um, so the whole balancing thing with Dynamaxing is that it runs out after three turns? I don't know if you got the memo there. Um, but this is bullshit. Okay, sunny day, please, yes. Sunlight is strong, fine. Do you have a... You wouldn't have a fire-type move. You wouldn't have a fire-type move. You, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. It's probably because you, you have Solar Beam. I'm gonna have to take this risk and, and use Pluck. And I survived! Okay, we only lost one Pokemon there. Note to self. Dynamaxing in this version of the game, in this, in this ROM hack, it's bullshit, because it wouldn't let me Dynamax. That would be altogether too nice, wouldn't it? But his Dynamax didn't even disappear after three turns. That's, that's highly not cool. <laughs> anyway, um, that was the first gym. Uh, it wasn't anticlimactic after all. I, I was afraid it was going to be anticlimactic, but things died. So, by definition, that must have been exciting for you guys, right? You guys love it when things die. You guys hate me. That That's what's happening here, really. Uh, let, let's just be honest. You, you guys just like it when I suffer. Uh, yeah, so Dab the Wooloo is now uh, not part of the team anymore. I suppose I have another normal type. It's not that big a deal, but the double kick is gone from the team now, which is kind of sad. That's not great. Let's take a look. I think we might need a couple more Pokeballs because we're going to get a new encounter shortly. Uh, shortly here, any moment. Uh, no. Name rate for every Pokemon Center is very nice, though. Ultra Balls. You know what? Yes. I don't know why the music is gone, but I, I honestly don't care that much. Oh, the, the music only plays up until the staircase, for whatever reason. It even fades out. Okay, so where do we go now? I suppose we just go to Route 5, and in here we can get a Pokemon. Ah, uh, do we want the Farfetch? We already have a Flying type. I don't... I don't know if we want to Farfetch, to, to be honest. Oh, we definitely... We, we definitely want this. Uh, it, it's Applin. And it becomes a Dragon-type, right? 
I'm fairly sure it does. Defense up. Please, more of that. Okay, that's actually a very high defense. Michael Jobulki! I'm going to love having you on the team. I am too afraid to use another scratch. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, that... My heart did skip a beat there, not going to lie. Okay, Ultra Ball. That was a very, very easy capture. I don't exactly know how it evolves. Is the thing... <laughs> it's also a pat rat. Um, so that could be problematic. I'm going to call you Robert. Because, um... I don't know why. Or Roberto. Oh, let's go with Robert. Okay, so we have an Applin. Uh, that's honestly great. It's already a Dragon type. I didn't think it would be until it evolved, but that's fine. It's got Astonish and Withdraw. It's got a very shitty moveset, <laughs> for sure. But we, we've got the Applin, so I am very happy. And it's just going to gain experience. Oh, that's just Portuguese. Okay, let me look up how Applin evolves here real quickly. Um, because I kind of need to know for sure. Uh, Applin evolve. How do you evolve Applin into Flapple? Uh, if you give Applin a, a, a tart apple, it'll evolve into Flapple. While well, give a sweet apple, it'll evolve into Appleton. So, which one do I want? Applin Evolve best. <laughs> which one is better? What's the better Applin Evolution? When given uh, both Pokemon are Grails Dragon type, uh, but Flapple is better uh, suited for offense and Appleton more defensive. I guess it doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, so the first Apple item that we get, we're just going to give to it. I'm I'm guessing we want to evolve it as early as possible, but that might not actually be the case. Can I talk to this? No, I can't. Do you give me an apple by any chance? I'm the daycare man. You don't look like a... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> just, just never mind. It's fine. There's a lot of apple around, which I appreciate, but what I do not appreciate is... Okay, so where do we get those evolution items? Because... I feel like we're not just going to run into them randomly. Um, so Eurogamer.net, you're going to help me. Where can I get these items? Uh, you also... Okay, so you do have an Applin. Uh, but this time I'm going to use Pluck and that deals so much more damage. Holy fuck. That's kind of great. Uh, so where do I find Applin? I already find an Apple. How do we evolve? Um... I, I would like to know how to evolve. Once you have an Applin, it's time to travel to the city of Hammerlock. You can access the city after you beat the third gym leader and receive the fire badge. Okay. So it's going to be a while before we can evolve Applin. Hopefully it doesn't stay useless until it evolves. <laughs> There's a very high likelihood that it doesn't learn like any... Okay, that's just... Savage. Uh, there's a very uh, high likelihood that it just doesn't learn any useful moves until it evolves, and we've got some Team Yell to go on, but we also have a new area, so that potentially could mean one more capture in today's episode, because we're not even that far into the episode yet. Really, we're, we're only 15 minutes in, and we're already making a lot of progress. Zigzagoon. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but Beth is definitely the new MVP of the team, because holy shit, this thing is amazing. Mostly because it's probably the one getting all the EVs with, with all the level grinding, but... J Jerome is gonna be fine. Jerome is going to be just fine. Uh, as soon as it gets a halfway decent move that doesn't miss literally half the time. Uh, Sableye... We, we can just keep plucking, I guess, right? That'll... Uh, I can take another Nightshade. I can take another Nightshade. That's not a problem. And then I can just pluck and... I know that was very risky, but I, I was sure that I was going to outspeed. And Nightshade deals a certain amount of damage. So it wasn't even like a critical hit was going to be... Uh, actually, can you deal critical hit on certain amount of damage moves? Like Nightshade and Seismic Tills and those kind of moves. Can they learn critical hits? 
I honestly do not know. It's a very good question. Uh, what also is a very good question is who am I going to lead with now? I guess Jerome, because it's still, um, Derek. Jerome is good. I, uh, Derek, I meant to, uh, before. Derek is going to be useless for a while, probably, but l let's not tell him, because it's it's going to hurt his feelings, and this leaf stand doesn't work, right? But the leaf stand does work on Robert! So I guess we might as well, right? Um, you know what? Let, let's do it. Let's do it. I, I am. I'm curious what we're gonna get. I hope it's gonna be the offensive one, but even the defensive one doesn't really uh, bother me that much because we definitely need something a little bit more defensive on the team, especially with all the uh, all the Dynamax bullshit that's gonna come up. But it seems like this is gonna be Flapple, right? Which is the more offensive of the two? I think. Let's take a look at its stats. Yeah, you, uh... You definitely seem more offensive than defensive, don't you? You're gonna be a really good addition to the team once you start leveling up, I think. I'm very happy we got that, uh, apple. Uh, okay, let's go back and heal. <laughs> I'm not about to go into a rival fight with a Pokémon that's mostly dead. And two Pokémon that are probably not... Actually, I only really have one or two useful Pokemon at the moment because let's let's go over the team, right? Let's go over the team real quick because we've got Eevee, yeah? I mean Jerome, which is fine, I mean, fine, right? Then we've got Derek, which I guess actually Angel Power and Rock too. Okay, I've, I I didn't say nothing. Inferno is bullshit, but Rock Two and Angel Power are pretty good. So, rival battle time once again, and uh, we... Man, I, I got... I'm sorry there, I I got a quick message that I needed to uh, respond to. We are back. Uh, we, what were we doing? Uh, uh, rival fight, right? Yeah, rival fight. So, uh, let's start off here with a quick attack, just to see how much it does. Cotton Spore, it's... A doesn't matter if I keep using quick attack. Defense call isn't really going to save you at this point, so... Too little, too late. You should have done that the other way around. You shouldn't have used a speed-lowering move to begin with while I'm using priority moves, but that's an entirely different story altogether. Uh, taunt. I don't really... No, no. I don't really need taunt. Matter of fact, I would like the opposite of taunt, if that's at all possible. Uh, Corvus Squire is a bit of a dangerous one, potentially. I don't think you're going to have anything that can hit me super effectively. So let's try to hit the Inferno. Because that's going to absolutely melt away the Corvus Squire, and it does 100% guarantee burn. I forgot to mention that. It's a 50 accuracy move, it's got 100 power, which is pretty good. But it also has a 100% chance of burning, which means that... It's actually a pretty good move now that I think about it. It's only got 5 PP, so there's a very good chance that you use all 5 PP. And not actually... I don't know what that is. Uh, and not actually hit anything at all, which is... Oh, of course, it's your starter Pokemon. Means that I switch into the right thing, though. That's for goddamn sure. And this fight was not a problem whatsoever. We might actually win this Nuzlocke, strangely enough. I very much doubt it, because... Have you seen me play Pokemon before? If so, definitely not gonna win. But we might actually stand a chance at winning here, and it, it's kind of scary. Because now I have expectations to live up to now that I've said that out loud. Uh, we've got a lot of dialogue to match through here, so let's just go very quick, because I want to be able to capture one more Pokemon today. Because I think we are coming up on the second gym very quickly. Yeah, here we have the Water-type gym. Um... Do we have any other place that we can go to? I mean, you are the gym leader. So... There is that. I don't think I have the fishing rod yet. But maybe if... if co Come this way, come this way. I kind of hope that I would be able to just capture him that way. I don't think I have a fishing rod, do I? Uh, that's key items. I have an old rod. Hold on, I have an old rod. I can't fish in town, apparently. Okay. That's less than ideal. 
I'm guessing you're not a wild Pokemon, are you? No. Team Yell owns this place? Uh, I kind of doubt that, to be honest, but sure. So, we can't move on to capture another Pokemon before defeating the next gym. This is definitely not where I wanted to be at. Uh, so we just go into this gym building? I know that the gym levels up here are up to level 24, and I do not feel ready for a level 24 water-type gym. Like, I definitely need Ro uh, Robert. I, I was going to say Robert. Um... I'm definitely going to need Robert to be slightly higher leveled in order to take that on. Uh, that being said, Derek is going to sit this one out. I mean, he didn't do much in today's episode, but next episode he's going to be even more useless. Uh, Mr. Nibbles might actually, like, gain a move or two. Let's, let's leave with Mr. Nibbles for a while. Again, we definitely need something. Hold on, didn't we get Bullet Seed or something from the last... Are you just straight up give me a TM for Max Overgrow? What? <laughs> Hold on, what? I think this is supposed to be Solar Beam. But it's called Max Overgrow. So is it Solar Beam or is it Max Overgrow is the question. I'm gonna have to test this out now. Hold on, let, let's let's see a wild Pokemon. Because uh, this could be very good if it's actually Max Overgrow and it doesn't require me to Dynamax for it. Because that's a very, very powerful move. So let's just find a wild Pokemon to fight here. Lombre. Uh, it's a level 21 Lombre. Um, this could be dangerous. So yeah, no, it's straight up as... Just Max Overgrow <laughs> as a normal move! Oh my god! That is... What the... Okay, what? <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm using this against a full level higher Lombre. And it's absolutely demolishing him. What the fuck? I love that. Oh, more of that, please. With, with that Max Overgrow... As one of my moves, this upcoming gym is not going to be a problem. I'm not going to go into it right away because, again, I'm going to need to do a little bit of level grinding. Uh, but that is amazing. I absolutely adore that. It's also broken as all hell, but I fuck... Okay, so now let's use it against something that it's neutral against. That is so fucking good. Oh, I love that. I did go back, by the way, uh, before starting this episode, just to check on the wild area. Uh, because it's been a couple of days and I figured maybe uh, the the raids reset based on your system clock. Uh, they do not. It seems like once you've done a raid, they're just gone. Which is a little too bad, but you know what? It doesn't really matter that much. There's not a lot of progress we can make uh, outside of having to do a little bit of grinding, though. So I think we're going to call today's episode here. Because the only alternative is you guys watching me grind uh, for like 10 more minutes. And I don't think you are very much interested in that, are you? You might say, oh, but that is fun. Believe me, it isn't. Because I'm going to run out of things to talk about any minute now. And please let me leave. Um, and there might be a trainer or two that I can still fight for, for uh, grinding purposes, but by and large, it's going to be just me fighting wild Pokemon. And you don't want to be uh, around to watch that. What I do want to do, however, is check how many potions I have, because I think I might need to buy some more... Yeah, let, let's buy some more potions. Also, can I... Like, can I use it? Can I give it to someone? I need to figure out how the Dynamaxing thing works. Because having double HP in battle would be fantastic. This Pokemon Center does not sell Ultra Balls for whatever reason. So I might have just gotten lucky and it being an oversight that there were Ultra Balls there to begin with. In the last town. But I don't care, because I got Ultra Balls. I also got uh, Berries. I, I need to remind myself of that. Give everybody uh, a set of, like, probably everybody a Citrus Berry, honestly. Before the next gym battle but until the next time this has been fun
I'm actually having fun with this ROM hack a lot. See ya.